Hello Jacksons, you're welcome back to the channel. Now, of course, do y'all remember the episode one of Hi by Frame Eye? Okay, now just a recap. So there is a series going on on YouTube by Frame Eye and it is about drug addiction and um, Kanaka Jr. It's one of its uh, star actors and part of the production and it's amazing to see how good this guy is now for those of you who didn't get to see the episode one um basically it started the story from the end you know what would be better way to tell a story than start from the end and then come back to the beginning so we saw that at the end of the show um Karaga Jr., aka who bears the name jeremiah in the show was lying down lifeless basically unconscious and his mom was screaming and crying for help as she was you know standing over her son's body not knowing what to do alongside another lady who was found out to be if i'm not mistaken either a passerby or the lady who led him into you know drugs and all that so basically right he missed his flight all because he went back to his so-called girlfriend who pulled him into drugs and into a high level of frivolous lifestyle now in episode two we saw the fact that he actually narrated how it all started so now according to him his introduction into drugs started when um he was in his first year in university i think it was the second semester he had met this new friend and in quote good bad behaviors or bad people corrupt good manners right so he met this friend whom he usually chills out with his friend's name wasn't mentioned or maybe i missed it and they were having a conversation at a bar you know while they were both smoking and drinking a mixture from a clear bottle of water but it wasn't water obviously it was brownish it was looking like a bow but <laughs> i don't even know if it's a bow while his friend was smoking something which seemed stronger he was smoking on something like shisha wait so i've never had that shisha is it actually like smoke smoke and is it like bad for human health because it's not like i'm planning to take it but i'm just saying so they were having a conversation and you know his friend asked him if he has a girlfriend and he said no and now at this point the both of them were crazy high i mean crazy really really high and his friend was like oh wow that's a shocker and he said yeah um you know he just wants to focus on himself and you know uh focus on how his life is going to be so he doesn't have a girlfriend and then his friend had to ask him so how does he get down how does he get you know do to do and he said he doesn't and i'm guessing his friend was like okay what's up with that and then obviously this continued the friendship continued until his 200 level in university when everything became crazy and that was when he met the girl who led him into the crazy lifestyle now obviously before that he had gone back home for break you know having a good time with his mom his mom who is a single mother always going to work and coming back and meeting her beautiful amazing son whom she always kisses at the chick why does this lady his mom actually look familiar she's like the lady who came out who is up for like um nominations to win an award on the amvcas well the amsel multi blah 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 movie blah 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 she's one of them if i'm not mistaken so he she came home one day he was reading a book um and i think it's second class citizen and she told him you know during dinner she would like him to you know tell him what he tell her what he had learned from the book he agreed they went to the car the next day and she was teaching her son how to drive this woman the mother was being an all-round complete package of a mother because she was teaching him how to drive she was putting him through school she was helping him you know be a better person she told him that the first thing he needed to do was step his left feet on okay adjust the seat and be comfortable put a seat belt 
put step his feet on the brakes before he starts the ignition and of course i believe she taught him how to drive from there and then he went back to school that was where he met his girlfriend the crazy girl now this girl whom her name is becca rebecca i'm like okay i thought rebecca is with good girls and then of course while he was chilling with his friend again that same friend whom introduced him to smoking here was becca she came strutting in smoking something and bringing out something from her bag saying it was the best and latest thing to get crazy on she was telling the um Kanago junior aka jeremiah's friend and you know why she gave him and she was focusing on what she was doing Kanago junior jeremiah was asking his friend like who's this girl what's up with her and his friend was like you know this girl is one of the crazies she gives me back to back the way i want she gives me everything and she brings me this high and these things we take and then you know he was just hyping how amazing and cool the girl is or crazy the girl is and then you know jeremiah that is kind of Junior, had to ask like um what's up I, I like this girl i want her and his friend looked at him puzzled i was like no no you don't want her you can't get her this particular girl is not good for you but he kept on saying he wanted her he would want her he would have her and everything and that's where all the trouble begins because according to him that was his second semester 200 level when he's lost it all lost his sanity his everything all because he met this girl now we're expecting episode three to come out next week and i believe it's going to be crazy now aside that we're expecting a live stream from kanaka jr and tati obviously we're not worried mm -hmm. we ain't worried about a thing because we know kanaka chin is gonna get hurt anyways um so expecting that they're going to go on a live stream today if they don't then tomorrow because he's been busy she's been busy and she's in nigeria and i can not wait for the media rounds it's going to be amazing like i'm just drooling it ain't my fault yes anyways um what else tatsy is still yet to respond to Kosi's interview saying that tatsy said val thinks about her and we're waiting to see how that goes but for now mm, it's just going to be all vibes everybody focusing on your future and you know or whatnot anyways i'm going to see you on the next one bye -ya.